Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mission Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to really easily eliminate hissing noises inside of Adobe Audition using Dynamic Link with Premiere Pro. So here's this great video I just shot about the ACES color space, which I'll probably release before this video, so you'll be able to check it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the audio here, which there's a definite hiss to. Hopefully you can hear that. And then I'm going to right click and go to Edit Clip in Adobe Audition. It's going to go ahead and scoot that on over there and now we've got our audio so we can see here steps, which is stuff is happening and you can see we have all this nice big blank space which will be really nice for us so this is just noise here let me turn that up in obs real quick so now you should be able to definitely hear it yeah gross so it's really great to have these nice big spaces of noise here if you're on set just capture some room tone and that will help out with this but we're just going to highlight all this, then go to Effects, Noise Reduction slash Restoration, Capture Noise Print. So now this loads that noise into memory, which we'll use to reference whenever we're reducing noises. So it'll basically take this and say, hey, this, I don't want that. And then it'll look through and take that all out, which is really some amazing stuff. Now, the noise reduction inside of Audition is actually, uh, I know at least it used to be, I think it still is made by uh, the guys and gals at Isotope, which is, if you know anything about audio, that's like some... That's some good noise reduction there. So it's this amazing hidden gem that not a lot of people know about. So you select all your audio there and then go to effects, noise reduction restoration, noise reduction process. And this will reference our previous noise uh, print and we'll play through. And you can bring the noise reduction up. Friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mission Media tutorial, we're gonna be talking about the ACES color space. Gosh darn it. Now you can hear the noise is completely Hello, gone. See you and today in this exciting <laughs> Sorry, I probably shouldn't be talking over myself. You can hear now that the noise is completely gone there. If you look see you and today in this exciting Mr. Media tutorial, we're going to be talking about the ACES color space. Gosh darn. It goes all the way down to negative infinity there. So it completely cuts it out, but it's more negate. It's actually reducing it inside the speech too, which is incredible. Now it's really easy to do this with uh, this was camera noise cuz I didn't bother recording this on my actual audio recorder i just ran it straight into my camera and it you know the levels got a little bit low so i boosted it up like 24 db and you get a little bit of hiss in there so it mostly works on what's called periodic noise sources which is like this um, a lot of stuff is not periodic like a baby crying but you can do other techniques to get that out of there some more but they're a little more complicated this is just a really easy thing if you've got like hum or buzz or hiss this will take it right out and you'll be a hero so you just go ahead and apply that and it'll take a couple seconds to think and then save now you tab over to Premiere again. It'll load our new audio. And now tutorial, we're gonna be talking about the ACES color science. Nice and clean. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. This is super handy. This will save your butt a ton of times. If you are in college and you are looking for an internship and you can do this, this is a sneaky way to make people think that you are some sort of crazy hero. This is the sort of crap that I did that got me in with most of the people that I know, these weird little uh, saving people's butts. So learning audio restoration and video restoration stuff, that is basically how I got in into the industry. So learning nice little things like this is great. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more great videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Mr. Media YouTube channel and also ring the little bell so you're sure to be notified of new videos. Also, be sure to check out the website at mrmedia.com slash products where you can get all sorts of good stuff for making your videos look better. There's no audio stuff there. Maybe there'll be audio stuff eventually. If you want more audio tutorials, let me know because I'd like to do more because that's technically what I went to school for. So anyway, once again, I've been Theo with Mr. Media. Hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.